was a cowboy I knew in South Texas. His face was burnt deep by the sun. Part history, part sage, part Mexican. He was there when Pancho Villa was young. And he'd tell you a tale of the old days When the country was wild all around Sit out under the stars of the Milky Way And listen while the coyotes howl And they go, woo yip Hey, mate. Hello, Jack. G'day, Grant. Where are we here? Oh, well, we're way up the um, the unnamed tributary to the Madeo Stream. Okay, and uh, what's the name of this beautiful homestead we've just arrived at? Well, we've called it Windsor Castle. Windsor Castle? Yes. Well, I thought that was all the way in the UK, but it's oh, also no, over no, here. No, 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 we've got a Windsor Castle here. We've got the Queen in residence too. Well, it's very nice to be here. Would you mind uh, taking us for a little tour? Yeah, come in. Come Thank in, you. Grant. Mm, come in. Oh, yeah. Well, we can come in. Looks like you have a guest here already, Jack, yeah, today? Yeah, we've got um, a Stephanie, all the way from Singapore. All the way from Singapore. Tell me, how much do guests actually have to charge to, to stay in Windsor Castle? Oh, no, 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 she's all the bucksy job here. Yeah? Yep, yeah, you know, she's all, it's all, it's all, it's all on the castle. Okay, yep. okay. And, um, yeah, we'll come and have a look at the accommodation. See? Two, three, six, eight. Sleep safe. Just like a dock hut. Very cosy. Keep the window open. Let the ventilation in. Possums might come in with you, but never mind. You can kick them out if you've got your feet by the window. This is a cookhouse. Very simple. Okay, well, talk us through what we've got in here, Jack. Well, we've got the cans and the wet back. Right. To heat the water. Yep. Put to run the shower. Make a cup of tea. Kerosene lantern, but we also have a generator and uh, an electric light. And uh, it's all lined with isolation. Keeps it cosy and warm. And um, when the generator's on, you can have the poster. Yeah. So you do have electricity in here. Uh, we do, yeah, but you've got to start the motor there, but it's, that's one, one pull and the way it goes. Right, right, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. And there's plenty of chairs in the other room for in here. Now, do you have uh, running water in here? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah running water. Hot okay. and cold water. Where does the water come from, Jack? Off the roof, collects its own water. Okay. And into the tank, and then we have a little generator, an electric pump, pumps it to the top tank. Right. And, uh, yeah, hot and cold water. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's good. Very nice. And uh, yeah. this is the stove over here. Yeah, little 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 double burner. Yeah. Very 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 prompt though too. Yep. Yeah, you've got a cup of tea made before you know it. Right. Yeah, we get the outside news. The outside news comes in on that. You have the wireless. This uh, any history behind this radio? Oh yeah, I think it was an illegal chap drop off from an Auckland wharf many years ago. I've had it for 30 something years. No, I've had it for 40 years, yeah. 40 years? Yeah. It may have been legal 40 years ago, but I'm sure everything's completely legit, yeah, no, legitimate no. now. Antiquated now, but it goes well, yeah. Gives you the news and you know what day of the week it is. Here. Yeah. Oh, this is a generator. Okay. Mm. Yeah, turn it on, give it a pull. Yep. Plug the power in. It's got to be treated as a live power. You know, you could get it electrocuted, you've got to be got to handle it, right? Sure. Yep, you know, good. Well, I'm sure you've uh, you've passed all the OSH health and safety um, regulation requirements here, so that's good to see. The what? The um, health and safety regulations. No, I never heard of them. They weren't, they okay. weren't, they weren't about when I was building this. <laughs> Was a cowboy I knew in 
Oh, this particular building here, well, it was two huts. Arthur Brown Construction, when they pulled the logs out of the bush further up the valley, when they pulled out, the late Mr. George Swan used to stop on it. He, he was a contractor. And Kevin Bunn, Ron Bunn, Russell Waite. And when they pulled out, it, was a, it coincided with the Toko Mill closing down, so they never came and got the huts. So I went and retrieved the huts. Oh, that must be 45 years ago. And I brought them down and left them here. How did you get them down? Oh, I had an old army truck in those days. An old 4 before army truck. Yeah, yeah, we nearly lost them, but we got them here. <laughs> and they've just sat here for 45 years. I used them once or twice when our, our kids were younger. And then they've just sat here and the birds got in and they looked a bit derelict and I thought, well, Jack, you either fix it up or pull it down. I thought, no, I'll fix them up. Put the roof on and the deck and tidied it up. And um, here it is, ready to go. And what's your, what's your concept for um, people wanting to use it? Oh, just, just give us a ring. Anyone can use it that wants to use it, as long as we know they're here. You don't want a couple of lots coming over here the same night, do you? That's right. It might be double booked. Mm, yeah, no, as yeah. so long as I know who's coming, it, um, anyone can come. And yeah. what, what do you think people will do here if they come and stay overnight, if they're here for a day? What, what, would you, uh, what kind of activities could they do from here? Oh, well... Could dam up the creek if the kids want to swim in the summertime. You could eel, there's a creek just down there, is there, Jack? Yeah, yeah, there's a creek there, they could eel out the creek, the kids. No, there's not a lot, they could they'd probably do a little bit of possum shooting. I don't shoot the goats, we must of the goats. Um, yeah, yeah, they could get to do a bit of possum shooting at night time, I guess. Just up around the corner, there's a few trees in the bush. Yeah, no, they could walk, nothing wrong with walking around the ridges, looking, admiring the view. Hmm, I think it'd be a great place for family, for kids. And is there any um, any kind of um, cellular phone uh, coverage here, or any kind of communications with the outside world? No, I've got a transistor radio in there, but I didn't know you wouldn't. Oh well, you could see him walk up a hill. Cell phone and walk with you up a hill. I haven't tried one. But that's uh, part of the beauty of being here too, I guess. Yeah, to get away from those bloody things. Hmm. Hmm. What's yeah. this building out the back here, Jack? Yeah, well, this is where this is the Queen's residence. Yeah, bit of, all, bit of everything in there. The Queen lives in here. Yep, and there the Queen lives in here. Built out of heart remu. Had to bore every hole with the drill before I put the nail in. It's all heart remu. There's an old house to pull down. Let's strip it. Got a share. Share. Very nice. And not much else in here. Just a bus toilet and a hand basin. And a hand basin. Missing a shower curtain, I see there, Jack. Is that something on the on the list of things to do, or? Not missing a curtain. I bought no that shower curtain. shower curtain. Oh, shower curtain. Oh no, it doesn't matter if the floor gets wet. Okay. No, but this is no, it's a spotlight, and you can and all that. Got it hanging on a Renega sticker. It seems to set it well. Oh, holds the curtain up. Didn't get it quite straight. It's not too bad. Yeah, cost me two dollars thirty for that curtain. It's a good, nice curtain. Two dollars thirty? Yeah, for that. From Spotlight. Okay. Yep. And this is as old as the hills. Had that in the wall shed at home. It's good though. Yep. Yeah. Shaving mirror? Yeah, shaving mirror. Yeah. Running water here as well. Oh I, yeah, but I'll probably turn the tap off here. Yeah, turn the tap off the tank. Right. Just while we're not here. Yeah, mm -hmm. just, yeah hot and cold water. And hot here, and cold. here yeah. we have the uh, the throne. This is the throne. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Every castle needs a throne, doesn't yeah. it, Jack? Yeah. Yep. Of course, this is where the Queen lives. And where is the Queen today? Uh, oh, yeah, there you go, that, there she that, is. That photo is very special to me, because it's the only day in my life I've ever seen the Queen. It was 1953 when she was in Stratford. You saw her that yeah, day? Yeah, 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 I was only um, 11 years old. That's her leaving on the back of the train on the guards van from the Stratford railway station going to Ingord. 1953. Wow, yeah, I think the same year that Sir Edmund Hillary think. climbed Everest. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. 29th yeah, of May, Coronary. 1953. Yeah, it was just after the coronation. Queen's, yeah, of course. Mm. And then she left Taranaki, I think, and had to go 
to the uh, Tengiwai Rail Disaster Funeral, or Memorial or something they had. The Tengiwai Railway Disaster. Right, mm. okay. Yeah, I think it was the same um, holiday when she was here, I think. Yeah, well, that was good. It just coincided with my 70th birthday. So my neighbours and friends, um, yeah, we had a helicopter here for the day, Matt Eggers from Toronto, and Matt, Matt flew about 35 back, and my other good white-baiting friends, they cooked the white-bait fritters. You had 35 people back here? Yeah, yeah, there was 35 of us, and we had a great day, and the, the bread buns, the bread rolls, and the, the ham and the lettuce and the coleslaw, and, um, and a few few tinnies and a wine or two and then later on two or three hours later I guess they flew us back home. Yeah, it was a good day, beautiful day too. So what date was that? What was the official opening date? 29th of the 11th last year. Mm. 2012, 29th of yeah. November 2012 yep. official opening. Yep. Now the longhorns are gone and the drovers are gone the Comanches are gone and the outlaws are gone, Geronimo's gone, and Sam Bass is gone, and the lion is gone, and the red wolf is gone. Well, he cursed all the roads and the old men, and he cursed the automobile, said this is no place for an hombre like I am in this new world of asphalt and steel then he'd look off some place in the distance at something only he could see he'd say all that's left now of the old days damned old coyotes Ooh, yep.